fucking did it. <laughs> fucking done, son. Only took us ten. Only took me ten minutes this time. <laughs> you didn't do shit. I, I'm helpless. I I have no help. You were, you were here for emotional support, and I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. It, being that uh, I was emotional, but I also supported you. Yeah. Yep. You're, you're you're just like you're just like a bra for my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> oh. A feelings for my bra. Yeah. Start a speedway zone. Ooh. All right. All right. Got got a little bit of a. A little bit of a suave switch there. It, it, it's got like a, a Mark Farina, like mushroom jazz kind of thing going <laughs> yeah. on. Yeah. Exactly what this is. Yeah. I haven't listened to fucking mushroom jazz in a hot minute. No, I didn't. T I totally forgot that was a thing. I think it only. I think like it only went up to like six, and then he started doing podcasts of it. Oh. I think. Oh. I don't know. I only ever listened to the first six. And then I was like, that's enough chill. Like jazz hip-hop music for me for my lifetime now. <laughs> yeah. I always had a day at Tree Plant whenever I I would just listen to Mark Farina for one day. There would also be a day where all I listened to was uh, Phoenician Snares. Oh yeah, of um, course. To very wildly different degrees of success. Uh, also Meshuggah. Uh, yeah. Which yeah. actually usually went pretty well. Because just having that, that fucking, those hard, like, yeah. beats just fucking giving her and getting me through my day, it helps. Go tree planting, kids. It'll put hair on your dick. Which, you know, you're going to you, 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 you're gonna have to share, shave off every, like, week or so, but... You're not going to, because you're going to live in a tent and be disgusting. Oh, well, while you're tree planting, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. But damn... Dude, the beards. The beards. Beards? The beards. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> I think my first year of tree plant, I actually tried to push it as far as I could and just, like, not bathe. And I think I, I didn't bathe for two and a half months. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, dude, it was awful. Um, especially when the rashes started. Showering has a purpose, kids. <laughs> yeah, absolutely <laughs> agree. Yeah. Hwah. 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 Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking oh, man, it's rough. Basic hygiene, dude. Fucking... I remember a kid in the boarding school I went to in Italy for a year. He was to a boarding school in Italy? Yeah. Cause, Jesus. Well, because my brother got kicked out of so many boarding schools that uh, he didn't have... That was, like, his best option, because shit was still happening in the Middle East and my parents didn't want him there. <laughs> but fair. no Canadian, no like boarding school in Canada will take him. Yeah. And my aunt and uncle had their own kids to deal with. He already pu punched a dent in their uh, garage door at that time so they're like, Ooh. uh, come on. <laughs> uh, Gotta but, love those hormones. Yeah, so my brother gets sent to that and that's when I was living with them in Bahrain. Yeah. Um... And then they're like, you know what? This place just is not fucking good for you, and it's not safe. Partly, part of that is your lifestyle. <laughs> <Fair enough. laughs> you know, the drinking and the fighting and all that, the fucking cuts and bruises you won't ex won't explain. <laughs> Uh, they're like, you know what, uh, how does Italy sound? You know your brother's in Italy, right? You want to join him there? Actually, no, he... Did he graduate from there? Yeah, that was the yeah. He it was his graduation year, and then my parents were like, "You know what? Fuck it. How about Italy?" Like, that interesting. Be that basically saved my ass. That's fascinating. I would have overdosed or been fucking murdered or maybe suicide, to be honest. Really? <laughs> if if I spent another year in Bahrain, yeah. Uh, so yeah. So so wait, was that was that because you had like a destructive relationship with your? No, brother, I sheltered or? my parents. I hate to say it, I hate to even sound proud of it, but I kind of am. I sheltered my parents so fucking well from my, my, they, of course, they could tell, like, you know, it wasn't healthy for me there. Yeah. But they didn't know the half of okay, it. Okay, so, so you went to Italy with your brother then? Uh, after my brother, yeah. Okay. But, like, it's funny, because I went there and 
there were a lot of kids there that knew my brother and therefore knew me. And I knew them, because I visited and a couple of them, like, visited us during the summers in Canada and shit like that. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, it was an, it was interesting. But yeah, this one kid, uh, he just was terrible, <clears throat> terrible dental hygiene. And, uh, yeah, he uh, grew a fungus on his teeth. Oh, I've seen that. It is... I did not know oh. fungus could grow on teeth. Oh yeah! Are you kidding? That's <laughs> yeah. that's a bad thing. Yeah, he was an he was an alright kid. Like he was fine. He wasn't yeah. like super. I don't know. He he was like a, a bit of a recluse, which you know I can. He yeah. was a spider. Sorry, <laughs> sorry that joke was stupid. <laughs> what? So he's a recluse spider. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> I told you it was stupid. <laughs> I was like, fuck, a joke hasn't been told in like five minutes. I might shit my pants. Oh, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, continue. Uh, but fuck. yeah, no, that was that was actually, I told you a couple of Sonic episodes ago about how I learned how to brush my teeth from a, a Jewish kid. Yep. That Jewish kid was the son of a dentist who was there the same year I was there. And uh, yeah. Yeah, I w that shit freaked me out. I was like, yo, show me how you brush your teeth, because you're the son of a dentist, and I need to know. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I'm so going to take stretching and muscle advice from my fucking RMT friends, yo. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They went to school then, for that shit. Yeah. The first day of that year, also, uh, this kid uh, almost OD'd on... Uh, Oh, it, it was vodka and herbal uh, sleeping pills. Oh yeah. He was he was supposed to be my roommate, and uh, we came back from you know the first night of you know kids going out drinking and all that because yeah, there it's that's legal there and it because it's a legit like mature society. Yeah. But of course, these were Canadian kids that were sheltered with the taboo of alcohol, so they weren't responsible with it. Yeah. But Italian kids are. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I came into him frothing at the mouth and. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Yeah. Quite an a... introduction to him, Hawkin. Hawkin. He was a great kid. He he was he he was a great kid. Like he he stayed in the yeah he stayed in the school and all that. Um. And you know what? Fucking, yeah, he was. One of like one of the best hangs ever. Fuck yeah! But you know, as we all did back at that age, we did some ah, stuff with substances no. that we probably shouldn't have done. Well, that's kind of the part of being young, though. Yeah, you, you gotta fucking do stupid shit. Oh yeah, because that's how you learn. You learn by doing stupid shit like that. Pretty much. You're dying right there. By just jumping in and around a big fucking bad guy. Yeah. Yep. Well, I need to hit him so he dies. But I forgot where Why I was supposed to Why that motherfucker look like Sonic? Because he's Metal Sonic. He's uh, he's the robot version of me. Ah, Jesus! Fuck. What in his chest, though? Uh, that's the... I think it's called the Time Crystal. Oh, I don't know, that, that's right. like the Magic okay. MacGuffin for this game. Yeah, okay, because yeah. all the bosses you fight that aren't uh, Robotnik have the Time Crystal. Okay, Yeah. gotcha. Or they, <laughs> like, they keep stealing it from him or something. I don't know. Uh-huh. Holy shit. But yeah, that actually, re that story reminds me of, um, I had a friend in high school, uh, named Andrew Crabb. Uh, Andrew. we were in a band together, actually, for a little while. Hell of a guitarist. Oh, yeah. But, um, he, uh, his very first time drinking ever, uh, was with this dude who was, like, fucking six years older than him or something. Oh, yeah. And, um, he... They, they decided they were going to have a drinking contest, oh, and he ended up going to the hospital with alcohol poisoning. Yep. 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 <laughs> That'll happen. Yep. Try to fucking prove yourself to your elders. I've been there, nope. man. Your very first time ever drinking ever, and this dude is like, oh, fucking drinking contest. Let's do it. That's, yeah, that's, that's 19 rough, beer later. Jesus Christ. How old was he again? Oh, I think he would have been 15. <laughs> Fuck me. 15, 16? Jesus. As much as my dad tried to, like, tough up my, uh, um... Liver? <laughs> you know, <laughs> before I was drinking age? Like, damn. That's... No. No 15-year-old should... Could and should be able to take that. No. 
Um, the the dude he was drinking against was like 19 and had been and had an older brother who was like 23, so he had been like um, illegally drinking yeah. for like a while at that point. And by illegally, you mean uh, rebelliously, and by rebelliously, you mean heroically, right? Because fuck this stupid taboo Western system. I mean, I can understand its purpose, but like, I mean, the more that you gatekeep something from people, the more that they're gonna fucking do exactly. it. Exactly. So. Yeah. That's why all those kids. You know, we like Italian kids of this exact same age. They were fine. Like they were su- They they drank like below their limit and shit. But yeah. Because they were taught, and they were like, okay, well, here's a glass of wine yeah. with fucking, with dinner. Yeah, but, but it took the, it took Canadian kids, mostly from Toronto. Mostly, mostly from Toronto. Mostly, yeah. So, mostly. you know, we had some Mexican kids. We had me, who is from wherever the fuck. Uh, and, yeah, uh, took them, took most kids, like, about halfway through the year to really, like, figure their shit out. Yeah. Is the microphone picking you up still? Oh, I hope right. it is. I'm gonna just switch my mirror. <laughs> yeah, we're still recording. <laughs> you you, know, you, you silly bastard. I actually learned that uh, from that movie Mr. Fantastic, or Mr. Captain Fantastic, I think it is. Oh, I don't know that one. Uh, it's. Uh, I can't remember his fucking name, but the dude who played Strider in Lord of the Rings. Uh, oh. uh, Vigo. Mortensen, yeah. Yeah. Uh, he plays this fucking, this hippie father, uh, <laughs> whose really? wife dies, oh. uh, because I, th- I think she has, um, don't quote me on it, but I think she has, like, uh, schizophrenia or something, and okay. ends up killing herself, no, but... um, but they, like, they built this fucking beautiful, um, like, haven with their six kids out in the woods. Alright. And it's all about them getting in the bus and, like, going to her funeral because, big surprise, uh, her parents want to give her fuck, a, like, traditional Catholic funeral. Right. Even though in her will it very specifically says not to do that. Uh. But they're like, but they never liked the dude because they're like, oh, fucking hippies, goddammit, <laughs> you ruined our, our wife. Oh, boy. Yeah, you get to see his penis in that movie. Oh, interesting. Because there's a scene where he's just goes penis. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Because there's a scene where they go to a campsite on the way there, and uh, he's just standing there drinking his morning coffee, just like naked. (laughs) (laughs) And and you see everything like it is a full body shot, and it's as these two elderly people walk by, and they look at them, and they're fucking like. Horrified, and he's just like, "It's just a penis. We've all seen one." <laughs> yeah, and they're just like, <gasps> "Yep." Yeah, the way that only fucking indignant old people can be, like, <gasps> yeah, those people who were born and raised and indoctrinated into this fucking puritanical bullshit, like, so society. Yep. He with these these Christian fucking orthodoxy, like nonsensical. Fucking yep. but those, values. Uh, people like that have never seen, much less participated in, the butchering of the meats that they eat. Of course not. Because that, that's another big fucking problem. Yep. Like, all over the fucking world. Like, But also, like, specifically Italy. Like, yeah, yeah, kids will help slaughter the pig for, like, the, the big roast. And, like, they will, they will slaughter the chicken and butcher it and they are they know where their food comes from yeah they don't become goddamn serial killers cause cause of it maybe some of them do (laughs) it has to have happened to at least two Uh, for sure for sure but But then again you could also argue maybe the Hannibal TV series which is amazing then I just rewatched the first plot arc of it nice the when they go to Italy not a fan. It should have ended there. Uh, but yeah, yeah, you could say that 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 who knows? Maybe that uh, inspired someone. Fair enough. To eat people. I can <laughs> you know? see it. Uh, it's a, that that's a very shaky qualifier, right? It, it sounds a lot like uh, violent video games cause violence, right? Yep. 
Yeah. Or uh, or metal music caused people to be more aggressive. No. Metal music is how you get steel. You me you me you melt iron with metal music and you get steel. Get out of my house. <laughs> we're talking. No, <laughs> don't get out. Of we're my talking house. metal, not house. I hate you so much. <laughs> Jeez, that, that was really get good. your genre straight. <laughs> Shut not up. Me. Um, seen a few episodes of House too. That was that was decent. That was a oh, decent yeah. show. No, absolutely. Um. Oh, yeah, I just that. I just love that there was that thing that came out a few years ago, or like there were these um, these researchers who specifically like went out of their way to find the correlation between like aggressive people and angry music. <laughs> also, this boss fight is awesome oh. uh, because in the original Sonic the Hedgehog three, like Robotnik was in this machine. Oh yeah, and him. okay. That, I thought that looked familiar. Fucking reverse, bitch. Uh, anyway, all uh, oh, right. So you just don't. You have to not suck up the bombs. Yep, but okay. I suck up him into my <laughs> fucking <laughs> rotating blades. But um, suck up. So so they found specifically that it actually did the opposite, <laughs> and right. people who listen to metal music it actually calmed them down. Yep, love that. Which yeah yeah it super <laughs> does, idiots. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! I love when that bat fires. That's what you get for trying to be scientific. And yet, approaching, uh, a, like, approaching uh, something with, like, the result in mind. Yeah. Like, an intended result. Like, okay, so we're gonna prove this. It's not a hypothesis, the way they do that shit. It's like, no, we're gonna prove this. It's not what we expect to find, it's... Yeah, yeah, we're just gonna try and use science to like prove this shit because yeah. prove you're all crazy and metal Slayer music is the devil. Us. I mean, they are the devil, but the good devil. They're the good devil. Yeah, it's pretty like the one that doesn't fuck your mom and gives you candy. <laughs> hopefully, and hopefully it's candy you can eat and doesn't give you diabetes. Oh, I'm the... <laughs> I... I just so love... like sugar-free like. What candy doesn't give you diabetes? The stuff with aspartame in it, but I guess aspartame doesn't that also give you cancer you? or something? I don't I think know. So. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I, just, I, so I immediately shit. thought diabetes. Like it's a thing. <laughs> it, I, but it sucks. I I really yeah, <laughs> it's a thing that sucks. <laughs> I'd give that a uh, bronze for most redundant statement of the, <laughs> of the week. <laughs> I've become redundant. <laughs> um. You know what? I still haven't seen the film, the Sonic film. I haven't either. It's supposed to actually be really good now. Now I... they like redesign the character. Yeah, that's also what I have heard is that like it's actually pretty decent. Like they they knew what they wanted and they just went for it. Yeah, and like, Jim Carrey is Robotnik, like. Which is weird because okay. he's supposed to be a, he's always been a big fat dude. Oh yeah. But, but I guess know. I guess Jim Carrey just fucking slaughtered it. His weight doesn't define him, Zach. Right answer. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. he's not the character he is. Fucking high road of the shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, boy? And then I brought myself back down. Okay. There you go. <laughs> and now we're now we're even. By doing the, everything even, even just by doing the uh, dip finger tap God, thing. that's so dumb. I fuck it. You know what? Okay. Let, let me, it let has me... a legitimate thing because no, no, I, know. I did dip for a very shameful bit because I, did I didn't want to smoke. I did with bacon bits. <laughs> seriously, <laughs> you, seriously, you... there was this bacon shit you could get that was made as chew and you could fucking get it. What? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> was it it wasn't nicotine, though. It was just bacon. No, it was right? just okay. bacon. Oh, damn. All right. <laughs> that would have been much wilder if it was, like, nicotine-infused bacon. No, because uh, we had... Probably s- illegal. We FDA had- might have a fucking wheelhouse with that shit. They probably would have, <laughs> yeah. but it was just bacon. Yeah. Um, because we had so many presentations when I was in elementary and high school yeah. about, like, hey, don't smoke and don't chew tobacco, because uh-huh. that's fucking stupid <laughs> yep. especially the t- the chewing tobacco one yeah also don't snort it cause that's weird <laughs> snuff is so fucking dumb oh I tried that like twice and it's like I 
can I just do coke instead and smoke a cigarette? Because that feels healthier. Fair enough. <laughs> like, whatever I'm putting in my nose, sh like, shouldn't be... It's, this should not be happening. Why? Why did I jump? Anyway. <laughs> the fucking... I did, is, is that the tagline for Sonic games? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the tagline for <laughs> this entire for, for, franchise. For his fucking 50th year anniversary, <laughs> Sonic, why did you jump? <laughs> yeah, the third. Ah, damn it. Oh, God. Uh, interesting fact, did you know that uh, Brad Pitt's role in Inglorious Bastards, yeah. uh, he does snuff in that movie on film because... He was addicted to it at the time, and that was his only prerequisite for uh, letting uh, Tarantino get him in the movie. But so he like his only prerequisite was that he could do snuff on set. Yeah, but on just, on film. It's just nose nicotine. Yeah. Why would he not? Okay. Oh, on film. Yeah. Weird. I think. That's what I, mean, that's I, what I, I read. I, I, would, I wouldn't be terribly surprised. Yeah. Like, Brad also, Pitt... Also, I love that movie. It that is, is a one fucking of my favorite movies. solid movie. I love me some Tarantino. Nope. Still haven't seen The Hateful Eight. Oh, really? Yep. It's I good, think it's on Netflix. Man. Yes, it is. Okay, maybe I'll watch that tonight. It's tomorrow. real good. Damn it! Um... Oh, yeah... It reminded me of a, a, oh a cool oh thing God. Ubisoft did a while ago. Bubble. There we go. So, like, I played Rainbow Six Siege, been playing it basically since launch. Um, hey. And, <laughs> but, uh, so, when they were developing the, yes. uh, like, uh, a new season back, like, in, back in the day. Yeah. Uh, a very Fuck. influential person, uh, like, a very community, like, driven person like in reddit and on the discords and all that like mm -hmm. he was an avid he was an avid fan yeah he loved the game and he died oh yeah uh that's but no good um didn't need, didn't need a petition or anything just needed a couple messages from like uh i think someone in the discord like there was a reddit thread yeah it was like they got contacted once and linked to the Reddit thread. Yeah. And they immortalized... His his tag was the Boston Bear Jew. <laughs> immortalized him in the theme park map where they have, like, these, uh... They have arcade uh, cabinets and all that. Yeah. And in one, it's a Rainbow Six Siege cabinet because it's, you know... It, Breaks the fourth wall. Of course. Uh, I, yeah, it's once in a while. Yeah, and on the screen, it's Boston Bear Jew, highest score, blah, blah, blah. It's like, oh, fuck yeah. Oh, that's cute. Ubisoft, like... That's cute. I'm... Yeah. I, I don't know, man. Of all, the, of all the, like, really big studios, like, not counting CD Projekt Red and shit like that, like... Does CD Projekt Red really isn't that big? Mm. They, they, they've they made a big title, and they're making another one. Yeah. But What have they made? Uh, the Witcher, all the Witcher series. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And uh, Cyberpunk 2077 coming out. Snog which got delayed again. Yeah, which but, is totally fine. Which is totally fine, yeah. They they uh, quoted, what's his name? The, um... Shigeru Miyamoto? I think it was Miyam uh, was it Miyamoto who said, Shigi um... A delayed game. Oh no! A a rushed game is bad forever. A delayed game. It. Fuck! I forget. I forget it. I forget yes. The fucking quote. The the word. The word is <laughs> yes. You are right. It's along those lines. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, fucking CD Projekt Red and their uh, their you. announcement that they were delaying the game. Quoted that too, and it's like, yeah, fucking right. Fucking right. You know I know people are up and I was like, oh, no, don't get my game as soon as I can. Whatever. <laughs> you know what? Fucking Tales of Arise isn't going to be coming out until next year now, and I'm okay with that. Tales of Arise. Tales of Arise. I I don't know if you've met me, but I like JRPGs <laughs> a lot. Um, if this was, if we had a webcam. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I basically did a just, spit take there, just, just back into my cup. Just into my cup. nothing but shock. Jesus Christ. <laughs> nothing but shock and, <laughs> and surprise. Um, 
Anyway, so so the three really big JRPG franchises, specifically in the J place. Yeah. Um, ow! Is Final Fantasy, of course. Uh, Dragon Quest, who is the godfather of all JRPGs. Huh. Uh, and, um... The Tales of series. Okay. I have currently played and beaten four Tales of games. Interesting. Um, Tales of Zillia, Tales of Vesperia. Uh, Berseria. Berseria. That was actually my yeah, favorite. Okay. okay, I've heard of these. Yeah. yeah. Dude, Berseria is awesome. <laughs> because it's all it's all real-time combat. Like, yeah, you have right. your teammates and stuff. But it's, it's almost weirdly more like a fucking fighting game. Because you have combos and like... Oh. Elemental shifts and stuff. There's, it's really fucking interesting. <laughs> also, this is a train. What fresh hell is this? <laughs> um, oh, Jesus. But yeah, shit's really fun. I've I've played and beaten Zillia, uh, Symphonia, uh, Vesperia, and Berseria. Oh yeah. I also have Graces, which I haven't played yet. Hmm. And what have you not played? Yet? Fucking play yeah. other shits. Fuck you. Fuck you. you. I, mean, I am gonna play my your shit. life. I will. <laughs> One, it's fucking seven games at a time. Also, catch this fucking UFO. Yeah, Jesus I'm intending Christ. to. Can you see? Can you see what I'm doing? You know, intent does not cover yourself in the eyes of the law. Yeah, well, the law can kiss my black ass. <laughs> I don't know how to how to break it to you, <laughs> but. You're white as fuck. <laughs> maybe, maybe my your ass, ass is black. Ma maybe, but you're white. Your the rest of you is just <laughs> maybe. Maybe I'm only ninety seven percent white. Did you ever think about that? Huh? No, no, you didn't. So you think about yourself. Yeah, the same way my fucking pinky finger is Navajo. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> all right, all right, you get the cuts. It's it's, it's not a hoe. <laughs> that fucking not a hoe God for God. show. God okay. Damn it. For the record, I'm just gonna say it now. I'm not gonna be getting supersonic. I'm just, it, it's not gonna happen. I'm sorry. No. no. Um, but it's it's just not gonna happen. You don't need to apologize when we began this. We already know that you're a failure. It's fine. Yeah. We, we were disappointed <laughs> at, from the very beginning. <laughs> that that's good. At least in that way, I can work my way up. You know what? Ha! You working hard enough? You and gotta work it, man. Perhaps you'll earn your freedom again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that reminded me of a bad thing I learned recently. Oh no, not more <laughs> bad things. <laughs> what the fuck else? So is many this? today. What is this channel about? Other than talking about apparently shitty bad things shit. and our dicks, and that's about it. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Do you like RuPaul? In RuPaul's Drag Race? Uh, I know about it. I've had like a billion people tell me I need to watch it. I've never got around to it. It's a great show. And RuPaul... <gasps> I did it! You fucking did it! Fucking did it! Mate! I... Thank you. But that... I... I'm sorry. I doubted you. I did not... I did it's not okay. I do too. Happen. <laughs> but yeah. I love RuPaul. And all, all he, he, she does with all, all that shit. Uh, he is a goddamn legend. Legend. And I will love him forever. But... But he owns a property in, I think, Texas where he fracks for oil. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. Like, why? Why would you do that? Like, you're not. You're not me too or anything. Yeah, but still, why are you fracking, dude? Like, <sighs> my girl, why? <laughs> like, it's also such a random, like, unexpected thing, too. Yeah. Like, of all the things. Yeah. Like, we're focused on so much, like, racial, gender, like, trans inequality and all that shit. And me, t me too, and all that. And then it's like... I know so many people that just, like, hate the Me Too movement, and I'm like, why? I don't uh, I don't understand that. I've, I've seen so many people, like, bitch and rally against it, and it's like, what are, what are you complaining about? People are sharing their stories of, like, when motherfuckers abused them and fucked them over. Well, a good friend of mine, um, well, I guess none of them are, and none of them are gonna see this, probably. <laughs> oh, they're not gamers, for sure, but, uh, lady, lady, uh, told, told, told you and showed you, uh, yeah. last time I was here? Yeah. Yeah. Um, cause her, her ex, it's still Can't kind of so much, do you want some water? What? Do you want some water? From my hiccups? Yeah. No, I'm good. 
Okay. But, uh, yeah, her ex, who they're still kind of in contact with, uh, um, they, yeah, he, um, really, really ag against the Me Too movement, kind of. He didn't realize, he, he doesn't understand, uh, he thinks it's like a big witch hunt thing, right? Oh, fuck right off. And, uh, you know, I learned this, and then shortly after my hangout with her, or sh shortly after learning that, mm -hmm. my hangout with her, because there's a lot of shit that I didn't know about him before that I learned there. Fair enough. And we'll hear the rest of the story in the next episode. <laughs> <laughs>